Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I wanted to share with you guys what I got in this month's Boxy Charm. It is currently April 2020. We are still quarantined and there's literally nothing to do. So I was like, why not kickstart my YouTube channel again? Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Before I start, I want to share with you guys what I, you know, put on my face for my makeup. So um, the first thing that I did was basically prep my skin and... In order to prep my skin, I use this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, which looks like this right here. I know my quality of like camera is sort of bad and maybe the sound is off too, but that's only because I'm filming this on my laptop since my camera is like, I don't like it. I don't like, it overheats, there's so many problems with it, so I was like, let me just try to film on my laptop and this is where we're at um for my base i used two things and those are the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer it looks like that and this color is a little bit too dark for me but this is in the shade deep dark 21w and i got this it cosmetics your skin but better cc cream and this is the matte one and it has spf 40 and i got this in the shade rich honey so this is a little bit darker for me this is a little bit lighter for me and when i mix it together i think that the match is pretty pretty much there so happy about that the next thing that i used was this mascara and this is the lancome hypnose doll lashes i saw that chloe kardashian uses this and her lashes are like literally like so long and she wears no false lashes so i was like let me pick this up and guys i love what this mascara does for my lashes if you guys struggle with length or volume or whatever for your lashes like i recommend this a hundred percent and last two things that i use were to do my brows and i use this billion dollar brows universal brow pencil um this is in the shade universal i don't know how universal it is because it is lighter than my um than my brow hairs but i just wanted to try it out i got this in my boxy charm so i'm still like testing it out and seeing how it performs on my eyebrows and it's it's okay it's not the best but it's it's okay and with that i set it in place with this anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel you guys have seen me use this so many times in my tutorials and last but not least on my lips i put my clear lip gloss on it's from my brand beauty by prita and it's in the shade crystal clear and this is what it looks like and if you guys want to purchase this product i'll leave a link down below but this is honestly my favorite lip gloss of all time like it beats stuff that's in ulta stuff that's in sephora like honest just try it out try it out it's only eight dollars it's not really a lot of money it's, it costs less than um other glasses that are in those stores um and trust me you guys will not regret that purchase the first box i'm going to be unboxing is the regular boxy charm um and i don't know the theme for this month because they don't really come with the cards anymore so i'm gonna look on the website i think it was a, a festival theme for coachella since coachella was supposed to be this month so the theme for this month is festival vibes so yeah coachella theme by the way, if you guys want to know how I did my nails, just comment down below and I can do a tutorial. The first three things that I see in my box are these masks from Tony Moly. And this is the purifying one. This is the illuminating one. And this is the calming one. And these masks are $3. So I guess a dollar a mask. Yeah, for a set of three, they're $3. The next thing that I see in my box is this LMS Superfood Kika Calm Cleansing Foam. And I know we've gotten this brand before. I was really disappointed when I saw this product because they email, they usually email us every single month and they tell us to customize our box. Um, I guess the, the product that I wanted, they ran out of. So they gave me this one. Um, I'm not really like a skincare junkie. I'm more of like a makeup junkie, so I was just like a little, a little bummed. 
tiny bit bummed when I saw this, but I'm not mad at it because this cleansing foam retails for $32. $32 for this. So um, I'll be using this in the near future. The next thing that I see in my box is something that I have used before. It's probably one of the first makeup items that I've ever gotten. And it is this Benefit The Professional Primer. It looks like this. Um, This came out years ago, guys. Like, I'm talking years ago. And I think this is the jumbo one, if I'm not mistaken. Because this looks pretty big. Um... The reason why I owned this years ago was because when I first started getting into makeup, I went to Sephora and I got my first couple of items, which was the NARS foundation and the NARS concealer. And in the checkout line, I saw this and I picked it up and I had very large pores at the time. I mean, I still do, but they're not as visible as when I used to have them. And this really did help. Like fill in my pores. The reason that I had large pores was because I probably had a lot of acne. I was dealing with a lot of acne back then and this just helped to like fill in all those pores so my makeup application can, you know, go on a smooth canvas. So I'm not mad that I got this item. I really was like looking forward for um, this item to be in this month's box. By the way, this retails for $32. The next thing that I got, I've been wanting for years, but I never got around to spending the money to get this product. So I'm so happy that I got it in this month's box. And that product is Iconic London Illuminator. Um, I'm in, I got the shade Original. Guys, this stuff is so potent. Although it's in like a very small packaging, a little of this stuff goes a very, very, very long way. And this retails for $41. $41. It's crazy. That, that's, that's insane for this tiny bit. I'm just going to dot a little bit on my hand. And I'm going to just show you guys how shiny this product can be. Look at how reflective that is. Like it's, it's very potent. A little bit definitely goes a long way with this product. The last thing I got in my base box was this lavish five-piece neon eye brush collection. I wasn't psyched when I saw this because I thought I would be getting other things, but I mean, we always need new brushes in our collection, so I'm not really mad at it. I just wish that it came with like face brushes. I would enjoy face brushes more than I would enjoy eye brushes um, because I have my set of eye brushes that I like to use and I never like to switch them up because those are like my holy grail brushes but um, I guess I'll try them out and I'll let you guys know what I think about them. So that's everything for the base box for April. Um, I'm going to tell you the retail value of this box and just whip out my calculator. So the cost for my base box of the month of April is $139.99, which is insane because I only paid $25 for this box. Although some things were misses, but a lot of things were hits, like it's still worth it to spend the money in BoxyCharm because you get so much more and you can find little hidden gems because I've found a lot of holy grails using BoxyCharm. So I, I think it personally is worth it to get the base box i'll let you know about the premium box for this month um and you only spend 25 dollars, which is insane okay so the next box that we will be unboxing is the premium for april it's a huge 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 box so let's turn it to this side now i peeked before i showed you guys what i got in this box and I was a little disappointed. You guys will find out why. So the first thing I see when I unbox this box is this. is a Smashbox LA cover shot palette. And this retails for $45. And it also comes with a gel liner. I'm just going to open this because I don't know if I want to give it away. So I'm not going to swatch anything because I usually don't enjoy Smashbox stuff. Like I, I don't normally like buy from that brand but this palette is literally like it's perfect like you get a mix of everything a mix of neutrals a mix of pops of color um and it comes with a gel liner right there which i don't think is a bad buy 
I don't think it's a bad item for BoxyCharm. And this palette retails for $45. So that's the first item. I was kind of disappointed when I saw that palette inside my box because I really wanted the Lunar Beauty palette, the one that um, Manny MUA made um, because he has his own brand. I really, really, really wanted that palette, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm really not. I'm a little, little disappointed, but I'm not mad at it. The next thing that I got in my box is something that I chose, and is this Becca Luminous Blush in the shade Dahlia. I saw the blush, but I didn't see the color, so let's see the color. Wow, this is like, this is a good color. I really like this color. It's like a plummy shade. crazy $34 for a blush wow it's crazy I'm not gonna swatch it because I will be giving it to my mom because she enjoys blushes I already know these blushes blend like a dream because I've been seeing like swatches all over the internet of the different blushes Becca has and they look beautiful so the third thing that I got was this Levito Age LA replenishing cream and I was low-key disappointed because um, it was either you get this or the N Natasha Denona blush dual palette and it was available in 10 different shades but I guess since we got a blush already they didn't want to repeat of giving you another blush so I guess that's why I didn't get it and it just looks like this and this retails for $69 which is pretty expensive pretty expensive the next thing in my box that i see is this brush set and this is by the brand opulent opulent beauty um it comes with three brushes which is a tapered brush you know i love me a tapered brush my elf brush will never be replaced um but i want to see how this one performs this one is a little bit bigger and i like the handle of it like it's clear it's so cute um, and it just has the brand name on it with the word bullet, I guess is the bullet brush. The second one is this one. It's a flathead brush. It is called flathead. Um, right off the bat, noticing this brush is shedding. Um, and that is usually not a good sign because I haven't washed it yet. And for it to be shedding and I haven't even washed it is crazy. And the last one is this powder brush and it is called powder yeah so this one is also shedding which i don't like because i didn't even wash you yet and you're shedding already these three brushes retail for forty dollars um it was either you get this or the igk hair good behavior spur spur it's a smoothing spray that's it that i i literally cannot see that words um but yeah i'm so happy that i got these brushes and you get them in this cute little baggie drawstring baggie which has the brand logo and the brand name on it the last two things that i got in this month's box is this wander beauty mal high club volume and length mascara you guys know i'm all about like luminous lashes uh I just love this this is what the packaging looks like it's extremely adorable i love mascara you guys should see my mascara collection it's almost as big as my eyeshadow collection i live for mascara and this retails for 24 dollars 24 that's not bad for a mascara because a lot of mascaras in sephora i think the one that i mentioned this one right here retails for $27 so maybe let's see maybe I found a new favorite the last thing I'll be mentioning is this juice beauty phyto pigment liquid lip it is in the shade 12 Cameron and another thing that I like about this it is vegan and cruelty free I love seeing those products and right off the bat I love this color you guys know I love my reds red on like a deeper skin is just so beautiful I like it on lighter skins too but I feel like us brown girls can really pull it off. And this retails for $26. Wow, $26. No, actually, guys, scratch what I said. This retails for $26. 
and this retails for $24, which is crazy. This is almost the same price as this, so now my standards are getting higher. And this being $24, I don't think I've ever owned a liquid lip so expensive. I'm trying to think, because the most that I've ever spent on a liquid lip is probably $20. Yeah, no, I can't think of one on top of my head. I spent $29 on the lip kit, but that came with a lip pencil as well. The liquid lip on its own is, I think, $17, which is crazy. If I This better be like super matte. The color payoff better be there. You know what? Let's swatch it. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. It has a very moussey texture. It looks like this. I love that Baku Charm is now including more like vegan and cruelty free items inside of our um, boxes. It has not dried down yet, which makes me think that it won't dry down. Um, I guess it's like a glossy set and finish rather than a matte. It's not something that I love because this can stick to my teeth easier. It can, you know, rub off on the bottom of my lip over here easier. So I if this was matte i would like it even more the formula and the the color payoff is very very extreme like i'm in love with this shade the only thing i don't like is the finish so yeah guys that is it for the entire unboxing this entire box for the month of april is retailed for 230 dollars which is insane because you only paid 35 for the entire box Although there were some hits and some misses, um, I really do think this box is worth it because of how many things you get for the price. Like, I can't seem to wrap my head around that. But anyways, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It will help me out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.